everybody, it's Tuesday night, which means we have all kinds of goodies that we've been bogarting away for the day and hiding behind cloth doors because everyone keeps trying to buy things even though no matter of signs I put up. So I've resorted to this. I went and bought a bed sheet at Rennie's and cut it up and then wrote, don't open dead inside because I figured zombies would keep you out of the new comics. And so far, 100% successful. So that's a sign for something. All right. Comics came out this week. We all know Flashpoint's been coming out. We all know Fear Itself's been coming out. It's been coming out every week. It's been bombarding you constantly. It's just been beating you in a corner. All right? But there's other stuff that came out this week that's very cool. Not to say that Flashpoint Fear Itself isn't cool. Totally is. But this stuff, it deserves recognition. All right. First up, X-Men Schism. Schism. It's a weird word. I don't, I don't like it. Um, came out this week. It's Civil War for the X-Men. That's the simplest way to put it. I read it. It's fantastic. You should read it. I think this is going to be a great story in the long run, and uh, it's going to be awesome. So check that out. Brand new Captain America. Same writer, Ed Brubaker, and now Steve McNiven, who you also remember from Civil War. Um, it's awesome. So new Cap number one, and we have blank variants too, for you people like to go to conventions and have people doodle away on those things. That's cool. Uh, new Ghost Rider number one. I'm a big fan of Ghost Rider because he's a biker of a flaming skull that goes around punishing the wicked. I mean, the hell else do you want here, people? Uh, that came out this week. It is a Fear Itself tie-in as well, but it's a brand new number one, and I feel like Ghost Rider needs that push so that you people actually read it and enjoy it because it is awesome. And uh, there's a blank variant for that too. So check that out. And there's a blank variant, so schism. So we've got three blank variants. Come in, doodle away, draw wings or whatever you want on them. I don't know, whatever people do. And uh, Ultimate Fallout, number one. Uh, if you didn't read the Death of Ultimate Spider-Man, then you're dumb because it was good. Calling people dumb. I don't care. Just shake your head at me all you want, Ross. I'll call everyone stupid. All right. And, uh, but this is the this is the aftermath of it. Yes, he really died. It wasn't like an existential death. It wasn't like Peter Parker changed his name to Raul San Francisco and he's a painter now or anything like that. No, he's dead. He died. That's it. So check that out. Uh, Ultimate comics are really cool. So that's a lot of fun. And now a shirt about a subject that's important. And near and dear to my heart, I think it, I think it resonates with a lot of people nowadays, um, is this shirt. It is our Honey Badger shirt. Enjoy it. Live it. Love it. Um, it looks like a sports team logo. So why not start a kickball team called the Honey Badgers? Why, I, I That's will. my question. I'll do it. Do it. I'm Everyone do it. it. And this is, this is the men's size. If anybody does decide to start a kickball team called the Honey Badgers, we will hand number them for you. So come in and buy them. We will come. We will sharpie numbers on the back <laughs> for free. For free. That's a service that you usually have to pay for too. Uh, we have this is the men's size, which you can see in my majestic frame, which is fantastic. But we also have ladies' sizes as well for you ladies interested in adorning your body with honey badger type shirts. So there you go, ma'am. Would you say it fits well and it's a great shirt? It fits well. It's a great shirt and it feels nice. It feels nice. So that's great. So come in, stop in, check them out. They're only 12 bucks, unless you want a 2XL, in which case it's 15. Sorry. And uh, that's it. Stop and check those out. Now go talk to Tristan. He's got all kinds of crazy crap over there. Okay. Hey! Okay. How's it going? Good. Oh, great. Awesome. This week, Heroclix are out. The Captain America expansion, Heroclix. We have these available in pack form. We have them in single form. And we have a bunch of the exciting chases. So we have a bunch of cool stuff that came in. We're selling them by, as singles. We're selling them as boxes. Come in and buy them because they're really cool. I guess I don't actually play. But I have it under great authority that they are wonderful. <laughs> wonderful things. Okay, so there's that. Uh, what else? A con. Oh my god! Yeah. Oh yeah! <laughs> the huge the, news. Alright, there's yeah. a big news. Wow. Comic-Con, the Coast City Comic-Con, is coming up in November. We're actually going to be doing this for reals. It's going to be a real comic book convention. We have guests, we have artists, we're going to have tons of vendors. We have all sorts of people already signed on. Go to our Twitter, go to our, go to our Facebook. It's at Coast City, it's at Coast City Con, and the Facebook page is linked off our regular page. Just come visit it, it's awesome. Um, it's going to be telling you who's going to be there. Uh, there are going to be very cool people there. 
we're trying for some really high profile people. We don't, we have, eh, maybe, maybe not, we don't know, but we already have some great guests. We already have some great vendors lined up. Um, it's going to be November 12th, November 13th, Coast City Comic Con. Holy crap. Where is it? It is going to be at the Eastland Park Hotel, right down the street. So. How convenient. That's pretty convenient. Uh, yes. So I guess that's really the big news. If you're interested in a booth, if you are a vendor and you want to get in touch with us, we do still have booths available. Uh, or artists. Or artists as well. And, you know, if you're like Stan Lee or something and you want to stop by, talk to Chad. I don't want to talk to you. <laughs> uh, thanks! Excelsior! <laughs> Coast City Comics is on the internet at coastcitycomics.com and we're on Twitter at FunboxMonster at ChadVenture and at Coast City Comics. Go for it. Hey! And also, this week, our amazing special is for 600 points, you can have one of these crazy standees. There's the crazy... Yeah. <laughs> Boba Fett or Captain America. We also have some it other hurts. stuff. And also, lest we forget, the new Pamela shirt is out as well this week, done by Dr. Gasp himself, Dan Blakesley. And uh, it's a moose it's, spirit. It is a moose spirit who murders anyone who walks up Katahdin. So anybody who's walked up yeah. Katahdin, you are in trouble. It's a moose with eagle's feet. And, and it has a gun. And it has wings. And it smokes out of a barrel. That... It's a real thing. That is a real, actual thing. And also, this week, we also got these in. What? Oh yeah, those are cool. These are super cool. It is the orange lantern ring with the crazy orange lantern. It's it, one fourth the size of a real one. <laughs> that's what it says. <laughs> it does. Not that it's cool. real, it's fictitious, but right. that's what it, if it was real, it'd be one fourth the size. Nice, it lights up <laughs> and it's really cool. And it has a key in the back of it for some reason. I don't, I don't, know, I don't know what that's about. Okay, <laughs> also, of the cool things we've gotten in, uh, we also got this awesome thing, which is a 1960s dress up Snoopy. I'm very excited about this. I think it's very cool. You dress him up. You dress him up. He comes with all of these crazy accessories. What? We have a huge bag. <laughs> he's full got of flippers? Yeah, he's got okay. flippers. Uh, he's got a baseball bat. He's got a baseball glove. And a fish. Comes with a fish. Which is as tall Pretty as Pretty awesome. Yes, absolutely. So we have some very Not cool things this in this big. week. We have some, oh, we have new board games. We have all sorts of crazy things. We have the E.T. board game for yes. board game night. Board game night is going to be uh, the 27th. It's the Monday from when I get back, because next week I'm gone, guys. I'm not going to be here. It's going to be very sad. I'm getting married to the girl you saw earlier. Believe it or not, she said yes. So we're getting married. No. <laughs> so I, don't know, I don't know how I pulled it off, but I did it. Also... Perhaps you think Chris Evans is dreaming. Perhaps you're trying to keep the Red Skull out of your apartment. <laughs> Perhaps you have 500 points built up at Coast City. Perhaps you'd like to take him home. Nice. You can. I... F 500? 500, sure! 500 points! 500 points! Get him out of here! Get Boba Fett out of here! We don't know where to put these guys! We have an Iron Man and we also have an R2-D2. All need to go. So, we don't know where to put them. We don't have a place for them. You can't put them on the wall. There's no space in the wall. There's nothing left. Okay? So, there for you. Stop on down. Kick the Red Skull out of your apartment. Keep him out of your face. Bounty hunt. This will. Whatever. <laughs> this is a Nazi deterrent. It's true. Third Reich won't be showing up at your house anytime soon. That's for damn sure. <laughs> Bye! <laughs> Coast City Comics is on the internet at coastcitycomics.com. And we're on Twitter at FunboxMonster, at ChadVenture, and at Coast City Comics.